This is Radio TV Phono Nut, and here's a rather plain Jane Motorola AM solid state radio from 1968. It plays, but it's going to need a little attention. Seems to be sensitive because it's picking up the, the weak black gospel station about 40 miles away, but there's another weak station. The understanding that's a little bit excessive of happy desire are low rates before they expire. There's a station about 90 miles away. Home, if you have an existing home, or if you rent a home or an apartment, call us today. So, so anyway, it's not a and an app to help you save for driving safe. First number four, let's see. Let's see what I'm Yeah, we got a little squeal on one station, and it sounds like it's trying to act up on the other station. So let's open it up and see what we got. You know, standard AC power line interlock on this set. Here's the chassis. It's an American-made chassis with the typical orangey gold colored Motorola printed circuit board and they were very nice enough to uh, road map it on the bottom for easier component identification. So yeah, even this little cheap radio that was probably twelve ninety five when new in 1968 was designed to be serviced. And I already see a potential problem. This disc capacitor was folded over here kind of obstructing the uh, connection. I was going to test this capacitor and it looks like it was either never soldered or not soldered really well. Anyway, I can feel the lead wiggling when I move the capacitor, so that could be an issue. Well, it couldn't, it, not it could be, it is an issue. But let's check the capacitor while it's loose and see if we need to change it. I was trying to hold the probes of my ESR meter on that capacitor and do the camera at the same time, and yeah, the ESR is a bit high, so I think we are going to change that. Alright, the little capacitor is a 1 microfarad. It measures almost 4, has not so great ESR. The other one is 100 microfarad. It measures 200, over 200, and has good ESR, but they're both starting to look a little juicy on the bottom, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of both of them and be done with it. Alright, we replace those two small electrolytic caps. Now let's juice it and see what happens. Well, the sound quality is better. Good News Gospel Radio, 1390 AM and 93.1 FM. WMER is back with more of your gospel favorites next. From the Geico Fox Sports Radio Studio, it's easy to save 15%. All that other interference is crap from the fluorescent light, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. Let's do this in the dark. All right, let's try that again. on the receiving end this time. And that station's overmodulated anyway. That one's distorted on any radio. Still got the oscillation on 910, but that's 
had that on other radios, some worse than others, and I think a lot of that has to do with that being double the 455 kilohertz IF frequency. But yeah, this radio is pretty sensitive to be a cheapie. Then I found one other cap that I missed earlier. Another one microfarad that the ESR was a little high and it measured over four microfarads. But changing it didn't help the squeal any. If you get it just right, it doesn't squeal. So that may be what we have to live with because, like I said, I've ran into the same issue on other radios. I think that's just the way it is because, like I said, it's double the that frequency is double the IF frequency, so it's just, just gonna have to live with it. Attention, treatment, and recovery. We're working hard every single day to reduce the secrecy and remove. If you set it right at the null point, it's not so bad, but if you're just a little bit off on the station, it's gonna squeal like crazy, but. Think there's anything we can do about that? Orange flash right at that. They played and beat the team that they've beaten. Um, you. We do it passively here. We don't see David passive about this. David is active and he's. I will say this for Lamar Jackson. He better hopes it doesn't rain. Against the 49ers. He made so many errant throws. I don't know if he was having a hard time gripping the ball or what was going on. Alright, there we go. That one's ready to go. Sorry, this was this one wasn't more in depth than some of the other repair videos. But I have some future projects coming up that will be more in depth than this, so just be on the lookout for them. But yeah, this is a decent little radio as far as a general purpose AM table radio. And I like the fact that it's USA made. I think 68 was about the last year for USA made Motorola radios. And in 74, Motorola sold out their consumer electronics division, which by that time was pretty much just... TVs and stereos to Matt Schuster, and then eventually a, Ma a Quasar TV, which was Motorola's brand, eventually became nothing more than a rebadged Panasonic. Alright, there you go. Just a little something to waste time with today, and more to come later.